Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another news video. And depending on how you look at this video, this could either be good news or bad news. So Funko just made a tweet and a post to Instagram uh, revealing the designs for the brand new characters that will be showcased in the brand new FNAF game Security Breach coming out later this year. Honestly, it's hard to tell if these are leaks or not, because Scott did say something and we will be going over that shortly. He didn't say that they were leaks. So I don't know if this was supposed to happen, if Scott let Funko do this, or if Funko did actually leak these new designs. And because some of the designs are brand new, and it shows off brand new characters that we haven't seen, they will be blacked out in the thumbnail, just like last episode. So uh, for those who want to remain spoiler free, you know, when you scroll past your recommended section on YouTube, you won't be spoiled. You're welcome. I know a lot of people appreciated that uh, last episode, so I'm gonna be doing the same thing. So, if you are one of those people that don't want to be spoiled, I suggest leaving right now because we're going to be taking a look at the new designs right now, the new characters right now, and I'm gonna be stating my opinion, and then after that we'll go over Scott's response. Okay, so Funko leaked, leaked the action figures and the mystery minis for Security Breach, both of which we knew were going to be a thing. In fact, we already know that there are going to be plushies in the future, so I don't know when those are gonna be released, but right now we have the action figures and the mystery minis. Final warning, three, Two, one, these are the action figures. And we gotta talk about some things. So I've seen a lot of people saying that there are reused models and reused parts for these characters um, and looking at the evidence that does appear to be the case. So that is disappointing, but they also do look pretty good. I know some people are, are, are upset about the designs, but I think they look good. At least they don't look bad. Like, I do appreciate these action figures. The mystery minis we'll get to shortly, but these action figures, they look pretty good. From what we've seen from the actual characters themselves, they look pretty pretty similar to them. Now, the, the big difference um, is up in the top left, where Vanny is, uh, because that is Vanny, as far as we're aware, that is Vanny, which I'm, I'm honestly really sad about. Like, that design really, doesn't look that good. I liked her mask a lot better in Help Wanted. I think that had a lot more detail, it had a lot more personality, it just looked overall a lot better, and I don't see why she's now a fully white rabbit, as opposed to what her mask looked like in Help Wanted, where it, has the, where it had the dots, it had, you know, all of the other details to it. Now, this could be one out of other styles for Vanny. Maybe in the game we'll see what she actually looks like, like her human form, and then this is where she, you know, puts on a costume to go murder the kittens, but it's just this really doesn't look all that great in my opinion. I'm very disappointed. I think the ribbon looks alright, I think that looks nice, but everything else, not, not really a big fan of. Can we get an F in the chat for our no longer big Diddy Goff? GF. Unfortunately, that is not what Vanny looks like. It is very sad. And the ironic part about that is the designs that people made on the Reddit looked a lot better than the official one. I'm just saying. You know, I'm, I'm just saying. Anyways, Glamrock Chica, uh, we finally know what she looks like now, and it's interesting that Scott chose white for her. It definitely reminds me a lot more of Funtime Chica than it does you know, any other Chica. It also reminds me a lot of Helen Henny from Chuck E. Cheese, uh, another F in the chat for Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know, it's, it's very interesting. Another thing that I'm confused about is why are there two guitar people? Like, come on, you got two guitar people? Where's the drums? You know? And then you've got, um, ooh, what's her name? Roxanne, the, the wolf? Yeah, the wolf. Um, up there with her keyboard guitar, and yes, a lot of people commented what that instrument is. I know what it's called. I just don't remember what people said it was called, so you don't need to comment about that. Again, I don't know if these are leaks. Scott didn't say they were leaks, but at the same time, the way he worded his response made it seem like they weren't supposed to release these, at least not right now. 
So, I, it's it's really hard to understand why Funko did this. Because this is the second leak we have had from Funko. This is the third leak we have had for this entire game. And that's really upsetting. And I will get to my thoughts on Security Breach as a whole uh, very shortly, because that is something I've been meaning to talk about, and I feel like this video is finally going to be my chance. Uh, but first, we have the mystery minis to look at. And let me just say, I mean, they're mystery minis. They are Funko mystery minis, right? So you've got five characters. You've got the Glamrock, uh, Freddy, Monty, Chica, and Roxanne, and then you also have Banny. Those are the only characters that we know of that have mystery minis, maybe? There'll be more, but I highly doubt it. And then in traditional Funko style, you have alternate versions of the same character. In fact, Freddy has three separate versions from his original design. He's got what looks like a black light design, he has a metallic design, and then a glitter and glow design. It appears that Glamrock Chica and Roxanne both have these black light designs too. Monty has the glittery glow design as well, and then Vanny has a flocked design. <laughs> I guess they just slightly changed the material that the mini will be made out of? I'm not entirely sure what that means. But I am really disappointed that these are the mystery minis we're getting. Like, we are missing out on so many characters, you know? Uh, the VR characters, the AR characters, they would have been nice to have in this pack. It would have been great. You have the Security Breach characters, and you ha and then you have some of the um, special event characters from AR, and then you could also have Glitch Trap, um, uh, Dreadbear, and Grim Foxy, which would make a lot of sense. I'm guessing Glitch Trap will make some sort of appearance in this game, even if it just is like a small little cameo. I have a feeling he's gonna be in it, so why they didn't create a mystery mini for him, I don't know. Same thing with the action figure. Like, an action figure glitch trap. That would have been sweet. But instead we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven alternate designs from five characters. It's ridiculous. There's more of Wii designs than there are of the actual characters. So now I want to talk about Scott's uh, response to all this. So Scott did make a comment on the post announcing these new merchandise and he said, hey everyone, try not to let any of this bother you too much things will be happening very, very differently going forward. You see, it's really vague. Like, he didn't say that these were leaks, but at the same time, he didn't really say that these were intentional. And the way he worded it makes it sound like he is going to be having a very serious talk with Funko, and that's something I do want to talk about, is a lot of people are saying that Funko is going to be losing their FNAF license sometime soon because of these leaks, and I want to share my opinion on it. Um, especially based off of what Scott has now said. In fact, people have been saying this so much that Funko is actually currently trending on Twitter in the, in the United States, so that's funny. So this leak in particular is, again, weird, because we don't really know if this was a leak. The way Scott worded it makes it sound like this was supposed to come out later on, later on in the year, maybe closer to the release date, maybe closer to the trailer release date, I'm not entirely sure. It definitely sounds like Funko wasn't supposed to do this, at least right now. So do I think Funko will lose their FNAF license? Honestly, they could. They, they really, really could. It's up to Scott, but there's really two sides you have to look at here. Um, the first side is that they are really the only people making FNAF merchandise. Um, in, in a previous episode we looked at R Ruby's, I'm pretty sure it was called, the people making like the FNAF mask, and they're another company, I'm pretty sure McFallen is also making some more FNAF merch, but I don't, actually no, they are, they are, so you have like those three companies, and then off the top of my head I can't think of anyone else, and they have so many products that they have been pumping out for FNAF, they have the plushies, the action figures, the pops, the mystery minis, they had that arcade Funko pop phase which was kind of weird, I'm pretty sure they only did it for FNAF, but again, they have so many products, and it would be a really bad idea, financially, for Scott to remove their license. However, because Scott is a fantastic person, he almost always does what he thinks is best for the community, and that's why I think 
Funko does have a possibility of losing their license. And especially based off of Scott's comment, you know, things will be happening very, very differently going forward, especially because they were the first leak that we ever got. If you guys remember, that was back when we thought this game was going to be called FNAF Pizzaplex. So now, I, I want to talk about the security breach as a whole, not like lore-wise, I just want to talk about how the game has been advertised and how I think Steerwool and Scott should deal with it. First off, um, I don't think any of this was intentional. I don't think any of the leaks were intentional. I, I've, I've seen some people toss that idea around and I don't think that's the case. Um, I think Scott and Steerwool are a lot smarter. I don't think they purposely leaked designs and character names and, you know, a possible game name um, just for, you know, publicity. I don't think that they would do that. They were a lot smarter than that. And if they did decide, hey, let's, let's throw out some leaks purposely uh, to get people hyped up, that was a terrible terrible way to do that. I do think that these leaks were not supposed to happen, especially the uh, the two prior ones. Maybe this one was supposed to come out? I don't really know. Again, it's weird, but I feel like Scott and Steerwool are definitely, definitely not happy. It's also a little weird that Steerwool has not publicly said anything, at least as far as I remember. I don't think they've said anything. It's mostly just been Scott, which I am happy about. I'm glad that Scott is being the person who is you know, actively saying, hey, stop that. I'm glad that Steerwool are focusing on making the game rather than having to deal with all this crap. As for the teasers and trailers, it, I'm, I'm happy and a little bit disappointed by them. The teasers, I love them. I love, I think they look great. It gets me really excited for what the game has to feature. It does a great job of giving information while not being super clear on what information it's trying to get out. For example, the one with the security girl, you know, it shows her going into a room with a flashlight. And some people are thinking, oh, could this mean that, you know, we're finally going to have a free your own FNAF game? Like, that gets people talking, and that's a good way of doing it. But I'm slightly disappointed that we haven't seen anything gameplay-wise. And while that is smart, you know, waiting until the trailer or the game releases and then, you know, having people's first reactions to the game, I think that's great, but at the same time, it does make me a little bit nervous about the game, though I have complete faith in Scott and Steerwool that this game is going to be fantastic, especially because they've been working on it for so long. I think if we ever get any gameplay before the game's release, it will be a trailer, and Based off of what Scott has said about the game being delayed a bit to later this year and where we are in the year currently, um, I do think a August 8th trailer would be a good idea, you know, to celebrate the six year anniversary because, you know, not only is it celebrating the anniversary, but it's also kind of mid year. I think I mentioned this in my live stream the other day for Sister Location Custom Night on the Switch, um, but I do think a quarter four release date for the game is 99.9% .9 the case. Someone pointed out that we have not had a FNAF game release in September, and to me that sounds just a little bit early. I think maybe a late October, early November to mid-November is most likely going to be the release date. I don't think that it's going to go as far back as December. That's kind of it. Um, looking at the designs one last time, again, I mean, I think they all look pretty good. The action figures, the Funko Pops, I mean not the Funko Pops, my bad. The mystery minis do look alright. I think they look okay. I'm seeing I'm seeing that some people don't really like them, but I mean they're mystery minis, you know, they're small, they're like this big. I don't know if you guys have ever had mystery minis, but they're really small. So getting this much detail on them is pretty amazing, especially on um Glamrock Chica's guitar and Roxanne's keyboard guitar, again, don't remember what it's called. Um but yeah. The, the amount of details on these guys is really nice, actually, um, and the action figures, again, they look really good. And now that we have the official design, also, I should state, I don't know if these are the final designs of these characters. I know last time, I think I may or may not have forgot to mention that, so I don't know if these are the final designs, so keep that in mind. But now that we have the designs of Glamrock Chica and Vanny, I'm guessing we can expect a, a, a teaser. For those guys very soon. I think it's going to be very interesting to see what they officially look like um, in Scott's, 
you know, in Scott and Steelworld's game, rather than just on an action figure and on a mystery mini, I think that's going to be very exciting. When we can expect a new teaser, I don't know, because we did get one pretty recently, so maybe next month? I'm guessing late next month we can expect another one. Anyways, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more news coming in the future, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.